everybody, last outrider here with another Space Marine Data Slate formation video. This time we're going to be going over First Company's Sky Spear Assault Wing. Now the fluff. One of the few drawbacks of tactical dreadnought armor is its sheer weight and bulk which impacts upon the wearer's speed and agility in some battlefield situations. The Storm Raven gunship provides the strike force with a means to move its Terminator Battle Brothers uh, quickly into and out of combat, granting them unrivaled tactical flexibility. Though teleportation remains the swiftest means of planetary assault, it is a one-way trip for those who use it. The Storm Raven, however, can hold position nearby, ready to extract its assigned squad once their mission is complete. Often, a Storm Ra a Sky Spear Assault Wing will combine both teleportation and aerial insertion where one squad of Terminators is sent ahead to clear the way for the next arriving reinforcements. But am That gives you an idea of what's coming up. So, a formation of First Company Sky Spear s Assault Wing consists of the following. One Terminator Squad. One Terminator Assault Squad. One Venerable Dreadnought. One Storm Raven gunship. Okay, so remember, these things will not take up a slot in your force organization chart. If you're put together as a formation, wham, they're on the side. Just pay the points for them. Now, here are the restrictions. This formation's Venerable Dreadnought and Terminator Assault Squad deploy or arrive from reserves embarked in the formation's Storm Raven gunship. Next, the Terminator squad must be composed of five models and must be placed in Deep Strike Reserve. So five models does not mean they have to be uh, Terminators. I guess they could be an independent character, maybe. I'm not sure. <clears throat> or at least an upgrade. The Terminator assault squad must be also composed of five models. So that is definitely something that would need to be looked into. It says models. It doesn't say five Terminators. It just says five models. So what do they get in return for this? They get Fury of the Swarm as a special rule. Fury of the Storm. Units from this formation have the Hammer of Wrath special rule on the turn they disembark from this formation's Storm Raven gunship. Nice stuff. Swift Deployment. This formation's Terminator Squad can run and shoot on the term it arrives by Deep Strike. Nice again. So remember, so the one, I guess that's what they were saying, one is going to be dropping out of a Storm Raven, so if the other one's Deep Striking, that means it's teleporting, obviously. It teleports in, and it can run and shoot on that turn. That is the benefits of that. Now, the other thing you have to remember is that you can outload these things or give them all of the war gear that you want. And since it says five models, you know, instead of five Terminators, it sounds like if you throw in and it's a, a, and a Captain Lysander or any other character because this is only limited by the uh, Space Marine faction. So anything that falls under the Space Marine factions, that can be whether you're Blood Angels or whatever, I assume, you can, uh, you, can, you can build the squads and units and companies any way you like, just as long as they count as being a Terminator Assault Squad, a Terminator Squad, and a Venerable Dreadnought, and a Storm Raven. So that means if you were um, Space Wolves, you know, that could be Bjorn Fellhammer. It's a Venerable Dreadnought. It doesn't, and you can make a formation out of him with that. That's the flexibility of these formations, which is quite amazing, I think. I hope you enjoy and you try them out. Until next time, bye!